I have the assurance that God neither slumbers nor sleeps. Alone, God is the stabilizing factor to my spirit. I have no other anchor as I look at what is coming upon us as a people. Now we need to understand that the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, and the dragon was wrath with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. That means the commandments of God are his issue and also the faith that Jesus had in God which is supposed to be the faith of the church is a special target. And so we live in a time when the faith of the church will be tested and we read in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, just go and read the whole chapter going down. There is a phrase and I think it's in chapter, in verse 3 of Daniel chapter 12 where it says many will be purified and made white and tried. We may lose respect for the privileges God has given us and our children as a people. It does not change the dragon's agenda and commitment to our destruction. It does not change the Babylonians and their agenda to conquer, subdue, and devour Israel. In the silence of the atmosphere, angels rise to heaven and come back, back and forth working out the salvation of those that are cooperating with God. There is business in the air. So the church has an appointment with the Son of God whose blood alone cleanses us from all sin. The Bible says be sober and men ought always to do our church, to pray. People we may not understand how important prayer is, but let me tell you how important prayer is. Prayer is the only thing Satan fears because prayer alone moves the hand of God. The metal detectors at the airport are a new idea. You have another thing coming. God has a sin detector. And he has sworn that nothing that defiles shall enter into the city. That means if there is any purification that is supposed to take place, it takes place this side of heaven, this side of the advent, this side of the end of the world, this side of the close of probation. The time between now and it is done is the time to get rid of sin.